Hello, sweethearts, and welcome to week three of the Let's Play Nostalgia Olympics. We're playing Grindstormer. I say we because I'm not alone. Introducing the newest member of Team Dr. Time Warp. Uh, this is Zalaz. Hello, guys. Zalaz, he's, he's joining me to play uh, Grindstormer. So you played this game, right? It's, it's quite a difficult game, yes. Yes, it is, it is quite mm. a difficult game. It is a vertical shmup. And as you may infer from playing shmups... They are not an easy thing. No, they like to kill you. They like to kill you dead, and Grindstormer is no exception. But you do have some fun tricks, like turning your little spreadshot options into a frontal assault mode. Kind of like... Which is uh, pretty great. Kind of like, like... what? Uh, it's kind of like another Genesis game I've played. Uh, Soul Dees, or Soul Feast, or something. Oh, that Sega CD thing. Yeah. Okay. It's neat, but we're not going to bother with that, because oh. now we got the uh, search power up which is uh, pretty great. Turns your options into little homing options. And they're great against little enemies, oh, but no. they're not the best against the bigger ones because they'll just latch on and shoot them forever. And then, well, the game likes to trip you up if you try to uh, break it with these. And it actually becomes harder than if you try to use the regular shot power-up. Mm. Oh, but have you noticed uh, when the little options honing onto your enemy, they, the shot actually changes? Yeah, it changes to a nice pretty green shot. Yeah. I like it. It's That's cute. Good. And there's a third power from this game, Missile, which your options like follow you behind in reverse and they shoot missiles. It's uh, sort of greedy. I tr yeah, it, it's not as good as Ingradius. Mm. I, I don't like it. Neither. I tried it and I don't like it at all. Mm -hmm. Search or shot are your best bet. Mm -hmm. Because this thing gets quite sadistic. I mean, it's not so bad here. I mean, this is a stage one. It's, you know, easing you into it. It's okay. We're going to have fun here. We're going to get some points. Mm -hmm. And uh, those diamonds, those are bombs. We'll be talking more about bombs later because we'll be using a lot of them. But have enough here's our first boss. be in this game. Yeah. It, it's a tank, and it shoots missiles. And you get another tank. At you. Yep. Two tanks, actually. Man, it's Tough, but you want to disable that first tank first, and then I just am just gonna kind of hang around in the back, you know. Yeah, use the nice power of search to just uh, let them do most of the work. You see, they're taking their sweet time. Is mm -hmm. the thing. If I got down there, I'd be able to blow them a little faster, but then I run the risk of getting shot in the face and exploding, and I don't want that two minutes mm -hmm. into the run. Now, do you? That that kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. But once there's one tank left, it shoots a lot of bullets, but it's nothing you can't handle. And that's stage one. Yay! But there's more where that came from. Mm. Yes. Now, stage two starts with what I like to call the screw search section. Where the game actively <laughs> gets you over for daring to pick this power up. Because we have these big pods here. They take quite a lot of hits to break. And they've got a thousand points inside them. Well, that's fun, right? Except that you're... Uh, Homing options will latch onto them like mad, and then you won't be able to deal with the uh, waves of shits coming in. Now, that wouldn't be so bad, except for the fact that they can shoot bullets, and... Uh, Whoa, mama! And they shoot Don't... right through those... Or... Yeah, they can shoot through I mean, yeah, That's great, yeah. <laughs> but once you get past that, it, it's not so bad for the stage bit. So now I'd like to talk about Grindstormer and uh, its makers a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'd like to channel the uh, spirit of the absent Sunburst Baser to tell you all about it. Wait, no, sorry, that, that was the spirit of a bass guitar. <laughs> no. No, okay. Okay, for real now. Uh, Grindstormer is sort of a port made by Tengen. Those lovely Atari people who made such games as Road Blasters and Tengen Tetris and then got their shit sued to oblivion. Mm -hmm. Um, Port they ported this, but the original makers are a company called Toaplan, a developer and publisher of many shmups, between the years 1984 and 1994. Some of the games they worked on include Tiger Heli, Truxton, and this little obscure Mega Drive shmup you probably never heard of, Zero Wing. Uh, I've never heard of it. I do like Truxton, though. Yeah, tru Truxton's, Truxton's pretty decent, yeah. And, uh, well, once Toa Plan went out of business, a lot of its employees went on to companies like Cave, who any big schmuphead knows is a maker of lovely schmups. 
Dodon Pachi and the like. Mm. Uh, Rising, who I've never really heard of, but they're supposedly good. And uh, Takumi, who made a shooter called Gigawing. And that's supposedly a hectic one with billions of points. Anyone who has a phobia of big numbers should not, should not play that game. But this stage is pretty hectic, though. I mean, you had those big cannons, they were really hard. And then you've got the hoppers. And every time I play, I have to remind myself, hoppers, because I will, I will get to the center of the screen and I will get shot in the face by the hoppers. Mm -hmm. the center of the now there are safe zones between the hoppers, but then they throw these little guys in to shoot some bullets, just, just, just to phase you out a little, just to Tricky end up your game. You, you gotta be paying attention, you know. Yeah. It's just schmuck. But we're coming near the end of stage two. It's a bit long, a bit longer than stage one was. The stage is uh, starting to get longer, but. It's not so bad, really. A couple not of tricky spots, <laughs> but nothing you can't handle. Just got to be careful of these guys to shoot the missiles. And we are approaching the second boss. And wouldn't you know, it's a kind of a tricky boss, actually. Kind of reminds me of a compile-ish boss, although you'll, you'll see. Oh, yeah, you, you guys will see. Compile-ish. I, I've never really played many uh, compile I'm I'm not really a big fan of compile-style shmups. I tried, like, a... Space Megaforce and Gunnack, and I know I tried another one. But I can't. I, oh, what, oh, boy! Didn't did, did Compound make Musha? Yeah, they did. Okay, I'm talking up my ass because I love Musha. <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, Compound score one for you. You made Musha. I love it. But here's the second boss. It's got some attacks. It's got a spread. It's got lasers wherever you are. They come at you, and then they shoot robots at you. And this seems easy to avoid, right? But then it starts mixing up the attacks. Ah, uh, um, right. Yeah. So you gotta have careful movements here. You gotta just do quick, little, precise, tiny micro movements in order to dodge this stuff. If you go willy nilly, you are going to blow up and die. And again, not something you want to happen. But stage two is done, and we're going to enter hell itself. Well, personally, I like to call it the point farm. Stage three. Oh yeah, the, the, well the first half. <laughs> yeah, because okay, uh, just look, we've got a what is it, twenty two hundred seventy eight thousand points now. Just just look at this. You can get all sorts of points and time it right, and you can get the ten thousand. So I want to talk more about a grind stormer on the Sega Genesis because actually, as I mentioned before, it is a port of an arcade game called V dash V V five. I don't know. Most confusing name is the prequel to VVVVVV, that gravity game on Steam and Variety. I mean, I can totally see the resemblance either. Yeah, this is some Veni Veni Vici shit right here. But, uh, Grindstormer, the uh, port on the Sega Genesis, it adds two modes. You've got Grindstormer, the mode we're playing here, and then V V5, we'll just call it. Where it's supposedly more authentic to the arcade, and it adds a Gradius like power-up system, where instead of set power-ups from those little power-up pods, everything gives you, like, a, a an extra notch on your power-up bar. So you can get, like, shot, and missiles, and power shot, and uh, speed-ups, the so, like. You can even get a shield, but the trade-off is that you can't bomb. get any bombs. Yeah. And as you're going to see later in this level, you need bombs! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, th okay, this is where the fun starts. We've got enemies that have lots of hit points, and the search doesn't do much against them. Mm. Then we come up against these things, well, and I hate them. Bastards. Oh, I hate them. They shoot bullets that home in on you, and then they have those lasers, and they are death incarnate. And it makes things even more fun. We've got things to slow you down, so you can't dodge the things coming at you, and you die. Isn't this game just great? It's kind of brilliant on the level designer's part, you know, just how they can oh, screw yes. you over like that. Oh, man. But if they want to screw me over, I'll screw them right back with a bomb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, to talk about bombs in this game, they do several things. You're completely invincible when you use one. It destroys all enemies on screen, despawns all bullets, and any enemy that would be spawning while the bomb is going off would, don't doesn't spawn. Rather useful tools, those bombs. Yes, they are. Unfortunately, now we come to the part that I hate, which I like to call boxed in, where the game tries to phase you away into the corner 
and kill you with a relentless stream of homing bullets. Kind of like a strangulation there. Uh, Just a little, yeah. Don't choke, don't choke. The trick is to know when the waves are coming and to position yourself accordingly so you can weave and make your little micro-adjustments and get out. Mm. This ain't a Toho game, but goddamn, it is still throwing a lot of shit at you. I, I'd argue that this game is a lot harder than the Toho games I've played. I'm... I've only played uh, one Toho game, uh, God, uh, the story of Eastern Wonderland, and mm, pretty tough. Pretty dang tough. Yeah, dropping more bombs because, well, frankly, with the search, y you can't, you can't deal. I mean, theoretically, you can deal, but it's very difficult to do so, and right. you'll probably get yourself killed, so... You don't, you don't, you don't. I do take an opportunity to blow up stuff there, which is great, but then, yeah. For some reason, those weird little flying brown things, they have a bit more health in this section, I find, so... Huh. I just sort of get them like that. We're coming near the end of Stage 3, thank God for that, too. But this, it's only half the battle. Considering oh, this yes. boss of stage this guy three is. Oh yeah, boss of stage three. So uh, we're kind of stuck in the corner here. That's that's fine. We can just uh, make our little moves. Make our tiny little moves, and uh, we're done stage three. Now it's boss time. After we get a couple more points, because as you all know, you gotta get the high score. I mean, we already got the high score. But we gotta jack it up as much as possible, right? And now, blue thing. <laughs> And now the fun begins with the stage three boss. Okay. Once we finish with these rocks falling, yeah, just oh, there he is. And it's got, oh, crap. He's got a nice rock shield, and now this attack looks worse than it is starting <laughs> off here. It, it's meant to scare you. It's meant to ah, oh, there's so much coming at you, but you can avoid it easily. But now we get into the thick of it. So when he phases in here, he starts with a laser attack. Just do a little dodge there. And now we get three attacks. The snaky stream of pink bullets, the radiating crescent wave, and falling rocks. And boy howdy does he like to use all those attacks at once. He has to go all that on you. Hmm. Yes, but I like to uh, just hide in the corner and take pot shots whenever I can. Because the hell with going out there into this thing, and jeez, I was probably going to get hit by that present. And now he's teleporting, it looks like. Or no. He's... Yeah, no, he, he's doing that thing again, yeah. Once he does this, he's almost dead. This is his desperation. This attack again, and he goes right back into this pattern, and all you gotta do is last a little longer, and you'll be fine. I think the search is helping with the uh, whole, you know constant stream of damage, but the shot is so much more powerful when you put the options on the front. It just mm -hmm. tears through big enemies and presumably bosses. But he's done! And he's done with stage 3. Yay! What a difficult stage, but god damn. Oh, stage 4, even though you're only going to see 2 minutes of it, is really nasty. It's really nasty. Oh. You got clouds! That's, that's pretty, right? Actually, this this does remind me kind of a Musha. The way the clouds are, it reminds me of stage two where the lava... Oh, right. The, the ground it does look just like beneath that. you. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that was pretty cool. And stage four is hard because of these guys, so oh, the hell... Burner. Yeah, those uh, jets that they're firing, they will kill you. They fly around, and they shoot bullets at you, and they're big as hell. I hate them. God, I hate them. So, liberal use of the bombs because I hate them so much. Mm. Just, they can go away. And then and we have... Look, look at this! Oh. <laughs> now, I just want to point something out. I, I, I do believe I was here trying shot on this stage, and those pink things did not, in fact, shoot a barrage of bullets when I had shot, so... Right. I don't know if this is the game trying to dick you over more for daring to use search or not, but I think what? The, the ranking system may be in play here, like, the more power oh, you are, the okay, more... Okay, yeah, I did just die at that point. M maybe you're right. Maybe I am ranked to hell and back, and the game is trying its best to kill me. But uh, we're about out of time here really for Grindstormer. 
It's a fun little game. Relentlessly hard. This run took a while to get, and I had to <laughs> swear at the game and threaten its life a little bit, but in the end, I think it's pretty good, and you should probably give it a go if you like shmups and or hate yourself. Right. Yeah. So, what did you think of it, Thomas? Oh, uh, it... I enjoyed it a lot more when I got better at it. Otherwise, it was just a endless orgy of death and death. That's that! Alright, well, bye-bye, everybody. See ya.